Hello, my name is David Carbone. I'm the director of the Thoracic Oncology Center at Ohio State University, James Cancer Center in Columbus, Ohio, and a practicing thoracic medical oncologist. In this video abstract, I'm going to provide an overview of our four-year clinical update from the phase three Chetmate 9 la study. In this study, we investigated first-line nivolumab plus ipilimumab combined with two cycles of chemotherapy versus four cycles of chemotherapy alone in patients with previously untreated metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. Nivolumab and ipilimumab are immunotherapies with distinct but complementary mechanisms of action, targeting programmed death receptor 1, or PD-1, and cytotoxic T lymphocyte antigen 4, or CTLA-4, respectively. To date, several phase three trials using immunotherapy alone or in combination with chemotherapy have shown long-term survival benefits. However, this benefit has not been observed for all patients. With only a subset of patients receiving long-term survival benefit from these treatments, there remains an unmet need for long-term durable clinical outcomes for patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. Combinations of nivolumab plus ipilimumab, with or without chemotherapy, may help address this unmet need. Previously, we reported that overall survival was significantly prolonged in the Checkmate 9LA study by nivolumab plus ipilimumab and two cycles of chemotherapy versus chemotherapy alone. Clinical benefit was observed regardless of tumor PDL1 expression or histology. Here we report long-term efficacy and safety data from Checkmate 9LA with a minimum follow-up of four years. <clears throat> in this analysis, we found that long-term durable clinical benefit was maintained in patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer when treated with nivolumab plus ipilimumab and two cycles of chemotherapy. The four-year overall survival rate was 21% for nivolumab plus ipilimumab with two cycles of chemotherapy versus 16% with chemotherapy alone. Patients experience this survival benefit regardless of squamous or non-squamous tumor histology or tumor PDL1 expression. Interestingly, among the 17% of patients who discontinued the study regimen of nivolumab plus ipilimumab and two cycles of chemotherapy, Due to treatment-related adverse events, the four-year survival rate was 41%. We then assessed the secondary efficacy endpoints. The four-year progression-free survival rate was 12% for patients receiving nivolumab plus ipilimumab with chemotherapy versus 5% for chemotherapy alone. Furthermore, there was a two-fold increase in the portion of patients with an ongoing response at four years amongst those receiving nivolumab plus ipilimumab and chemotherapy compared to those receiving chemotherapy alone, 25% versus 12%. Durable responses were observed for all randomized patients and across all key patient subgroups when treated with nivolumab plus ipilimumab and chemotherapy. Safety was consistent with prior reports. No new safety signals were observed in this updated analysis, and long-term clinical benefit was not negatively impacted for those patients who discontinued due to immunotherapy treatment-related adverse events. In summary, first-line nivolumab plus ipilimumab with two cycles of chemotherapy continued to provide long-term durable benefit to patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer, regardless of tumor histology or PDL1 expression. Our findings provide further evidence for the long-term durable benefit obtained by a combined treatment of nivolumab plus ipilimumab and chemotherapy and supports its suitability as an effective first-line regimen option for patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer, including patients with tumor PDL1 expression less than 1% or squamous histology, which are populations with high unmet need.